What's up, everyone? Welcome to our YouTube channel. We are currently here at Central Bicol State University of Agriculture, Calabanga Campus. As you can see, we are in front of the College of Arts and Sciences building. So, I am Mary J. Bartolome. I am Lindy Perpatua. I am Marilyn Cada. I am Gerald C. Baguio. I am Ivy Celeste Austria. I am Mary Prince Consulta. And I am Giselle Flores Mendoza. And we are from the Bachelor of Arts in English Language 1A. Since we have no classes, for today's vlog, we will roam around the university and see for ourselves the different mode of communication that being used. As we are mod multimodal, communication means a number of different modes. It's not just one or two, but a variety of modes used in communication. We will showcase how students communicate and exchange information inside the school. And for that, see you later! The first mode of communication is linguistic or alphabetic. It is the process of communicating by writing or speaking. Writing is a process of communicating wherein the information is jotted down or written by the speaker on a piece of paper, board, surface, etc. With the use of the alphabetic or written language and symbols, written mode can also include sending chats to a messenger app texting, taking notes, or using other technological devices. The information is decoded by reading, which can be verbal or non-verbal to help us understand the information. The information is that is seen by the receiver may be read aloud or without speaking. Next is the gestural mode as a non-verbal communication where we use a common system of signs and symbols. This is very helpful to people who have difficulties in learning the language, normally like other people including mute and deaf people. We use sign language or body language to communicate with others. One example of this is waving, which either means goodbye or hi and hello as a form of greeting. Others are different types of signs that we use with our hands, body gestures, and language. Gestural mode also includes facial expressions, emotions, body movements, and such. We can also see graphs, road signs, color codes, common symbols in the university that give us information. Road sign is sometimes written but can also be has symbols with corresponding message. Watching videos, performance, performance stage plays also use visual mode of communication. Meanwhile, spatial mode of communication is a mode of communication that is used in proximities, physical arrangement or position. Example of this is the arrangements of chairs or a choir in the stage before performing a song. The difference between intrapersonal and interpersonal communication is that intrapersonal happens within one's own self, while the latter is the communication between other people. Variety of modes are used during communication process. The two commonly known form of communication is the verbal and nonverbal communication. During this video, you are about to know other modes of communication that we can use as alternatives in expressing our ideas, feelings, emotion, and sharing of information. And that's it for 